welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is chloe and i sell things online to earn a living that is my full-time job today's video is going to be a sales video 20 recent sales that have sold on just ebay i do use other platforms but we're just going to focus on ebay in this video if you've watched these videos before then you'll already know the format if not i'll give you a quick rundown i'm going to pop down in the corner i will bring up the screenshot of the sale on screen of the item that i'm talking about and i will put all the figures on screen as well i'm going to talk to you about my cost of goods um the ebay fees the like, actual price that the item sold for and then the overall profit that i got in the end because obviously it's very easy to see somebody pick something up for five pounds sell it for 20 pounds and think that's 15 pound profit no it's not no it is not um especially on ebay fees can be really quite high i'm also going to include whether the item was promoted or not i do promote my listings at three percent all of my clothing listings um i've been doing that for quite a while now and it's, it's just what i choose to do you don't have to do it um but I will let you know whether that sold on a promoted listing or not, because obviously that's an extra 3% on fees if it did. However, not all of these did. I don't even think half of them were promoted, to be honest with you. But we'll get into it and you'll be able to see when I talk about the item. So let's get on with the first item. So this first item is actually one of my favourite like thrift finds for a while. Um, This Orvis jacket. I am obsessed with this. The print on it was so beautiful. I will actually include a photo of the back of the jacket as well because the print on the back was like so good. Um, and this sold for £45. Um, some of the sold prices on screen, on the screenshot, might not correlate with what I'm saying because it doesn't always change. So if I send out an offer or I accept an offer um, or I send out, like people use coupons, sorry. It doesn't always change on like the screenshot, so I will make sure I put down the actual sold price at the bottom of the screen as well. Um, so yeah, it sold for £45. The cost of goods for this item was £7. I spent £7 on it. Um, the fees were £7.56, which left me with a profit of, just check in, £30.90. And, and it wasn't promoted, so that's awesome that that was quite a chunky sale and it wasn't promoted um because obviously it it can it pulls your profit like it pulls down on your profit i do think that having promoted listings on is worth it that is just my opinion a lot of people will say the complete opposite however it works for me and my business and i don't know i don't always sell things on promoted so i don't see the issue anyway that was item number one these sketches shoes item number two um chris has been sourcing shoes off vintage he's really interested in trainers and things like that he's a runner so trainers are a big thing for him um so he's been sourcing and researching shoes i don't have anything to do with that all i do is list them he cleans them he photographs them he researches them he prices them um to be fair he's been drafting them as well for me because i have zero interest in men's trainers doesn't do it for me does not tickle my pickle but he's really enjoying it so he bought these off vintage i think he said it came to i've got it written down so sorry if i keep looking to the side um eight pound 44 was the cost of goods uh that's all in um and 25 pound is what they sold for the fees on ebay were four pound 61 it wasn't a promoted sale, so yet again, they were promoted, but it didn't sell on a promoted listing, which meant we got £12.41 profit. Now, that's quite a high cost of goods, personally, I think. Um, spending £8.44 on a pair of shoes to flip it for 25 is quite a high cost of goods. However, it got delivered to our door. Well, we didn't. It got delivered to a, a, an impost locker, and he's enjoyed like researching it. We haven't had to go out and find it. They sold really quickly after they were listed as well. I may have undersold them a little bit, but they're gone. So it's not the end of the world, is it? And he's learned something from it, from that experience, which I think is so important when you're in this business. Like you need to be willing to learn every single day. Otherwise you're gonna get stuck in a rut. Okay, let's move on to item number three. This jacket, this is a United Colours of Benetton. We bought we bought a big palette, a big palette of clothing, Amazon Returns clothing. Um, 
well it was called shelf pulls but you know returns or things that haven't sold for whatever reason we estimated the cost of goods for these items to be about four pounds approximately give or take a few pence but we've stuck to that four pounds um this sold for 30 it was listed for 40 um but we really want to get a little bit of money back on that palette because it was quite expensive there's some good stuff in it but it was quite expensive so we want to try and start reeling some of that money back in um that sold really really quickly actually once it was listed it's difficult to tell because we're scheduled three weeks ahead at the minute so when something might be selling the same day as it's gone live but i don't notice because i listed it weeks ago um but yeah it did sell quickly after it had gone live the cost of oh, already done cost of goods was four pounds the fees were six pounds and 80 pence this was a promoted listing so obviously there's that extra three percent on top of that and the profit that we made was £19.66, I think. I need to look at that closer because my eyes are not good enough. Yeah, that is correct. £19.66. Maybe I should just keep this with me. Okay, for a non-clothing sale, don't have as many of these anymore because I'm focusing more on clothing. I was a... I was predominantly a clothing seller, but I did do hard goods as well, purely because I enjoy it. I enjoy sourcing for bric-a-brac and hard goods. I hate packaging them, but that's Chris's job now, so I don't have to worry about it. But I don't know very much about them, and I just enjoy learning. These, I am a diehard Harry Potter fan, and I have been since I was about 10. Um, these are handmade Harry Potter book sleeves. They were made so nicely. They're like such good quality. They're Ravenclaw ones. They're like padded little book sleeves. They are so cute. They're adorable. I've had them for a while though. They sold in the end for £14 and I paid £4 for the pair. The fees were £2.98. It was not promoted, so yay for that. We got £7.48 back on those. And I mean... It was really easy to photograph them and store them, so I'm happy with that. I do tend to go for now on items that we source nowadays. I try and stick to the £10 profit mark. However, that is not always doable. So as long as most of my listings get me £10 profit, I'm happy for there to be like filler items mixed in there as well. Okay, this next item was also a palette item. So again, the cost of goods is around about that £4 mark. This brand I would not usually pick up. It's only, um, I just don't think it has much. I don't think it's very expensive in the first place and it doesn't have much of a following. It's it's like Stradivarius and Bershka. Um, it's not really worth your time. However, we got it in a palette, so we're gonna try and sell it on. It was gorgeous to be fair. It's really nice, perfect for springtime. This blue like blazer with ruched three quarter sleeves. It sold for, let me just check. £15.30, which probably means that it was either 15% off, offer to watches that I sent, or somebody sent me an offer. I would have thought with the 30 pence, it's probably more that I sent out that offer. I stick to 15% off when I send out offers, because my coupon that I use is 10%, so it just kind of gives a little bit more, like, entice entices them a little bit more. Sometimes, when I'm feeling generous, I'll send out 20% offers, but most of the time I go to is 15. The profit, sorry, the fees on this item were three pounds and 18 pence. It was not a promoted sale, so we got eight pound and 58 pence back for that. So close to that 10 pound and it wasn't handpicked, so I don't mind so much to get like eight pound 50 back on something that, uh, that wasn't picked by us. I'm still happy enough with that. Yet another palette item. You're gonna probably see quite a few of these coming through now because they're starting to go live um these were levi's 310s and they sold really really quickly actually they sold for 36 pounds 99 the cost of goods like the rest of the palette items four pounds the fees were six pounds and 38 pence and the profit on those was 27 pounds and seven pence that is a tidy profit i am extremely happy with that like i say i aim for 10 pounds so to nearly triple that super happy and it wasn't even promoted so even better um levi's are definitely still they've still got it i don't i don't tend to pick them up all the time because charity shops do price them high they are usually priced really high but there's certain ones that are still worth it so make sure you check in 
this is a Perina cord skirt. I loved this. I loved it. And I probably sold it, like undersold it a little bit because it sold really quickly as well. It sold for £14.44. So I believe that was probably me sending out offers. Usually when there's a random number, then it's because I've sent out an offer. I paid £2 for it. The cost of, sorry, the fees were £3.05. And, and that leaves us with an overall profit of £8.85. And it wasn't promoted, so really happy about that probably could have got more like closer to 20 pounds i think i had it listed for around 16 99 17 pound and then i sent out my offer but for it to be a quick flip i'm i'm happy then we've got a cashmere jumper this is lockmere cashmere lockmere sells really well for us it sells really quickly and this did not disappoint this sold super super quick it sold for 27 pounds i think it was up for 30 and it sold for 27 it cost me four pounds to buy obviously i'm going to pick up cashmere for four pounds um i have been getting really like weary weary is that the right word wary wary of cashmere lately because in the shops around me it's either really shrunk or there's holes and with my eyesight being really poor um i just struggle and then i come home and it's got holes which isn't the end of the world with cashmere you can still sell it with holes i mean you can mend it if you want to but again my eyesight is so poor that i'm not going to attempt to mend it but people will still buy it. So don't always write off cashmere that is damaged. It's just not for me. It's not for me. But we paid four pounds. The fees on selling this was six pounds and 24 pence, which left us with 17 pound, 22 pence. Really happy. It sold really quickly. This one was a promoted sale. Um, I think we've only had two so far, which is like awesome. As I said, we don't always sell on promoted. We just use it. This next item I actually bought on Thrift Plus. I use Thrift Plus every now and again just because it's easy for me when I don't have to leave the house. Um, I only ever find bread and butter stuff on there, to be honest with you. This was £5. This is a monkey or monkey dress, however you want to say it. Really nice, actually. It had this, like, Western-style colour. It was really quite nice. And it sold for £18, so 5 into 18 The Fees were £3.58, leaving me with £9.88 profit. So super close to that £10 profit. I haven't had to leave the house to source it. It's been delivered straight to my door. And it was not promoted either, so even better. So I do rate Thrift Plus, but it depends on what kind of stock you're looking for. For us, it's nice to mix that in. Like, when we go out sourcing, we go out picking. But it's nice to have that option of things being delivered to your door as well. It just makes life a little bit easier. This dress is by And Or, which is a John Lewis brand. I find that it sells pretty well. It's not as good as Kin, but it does still sell pretty well. Uh, this dress was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It was like a floral dress. I can't remember if it was midi or maxi now, but it was saying the title. We paid £5 for it. I will pay £5 for these kinds of dresses all day, every day, because people love them. This sold for £22. The fees were five pounds and 28 pence left us with a profit of 12 pounds and 18 pence this was a promoted listing um so it takes off a little bit but it's still reaching that 10 pound profit these were amazing i rate poetry linen i rate poetry linen so hard i love poetry linen um these trousers i picked up on vintage i got three items from this seller two poetry linen trousers and then no i cannot remember what else um but it worked out about seven pounds an item these sold for 27 pound yep yeah, 27 pound the fees were four pounds and 91 pence not a promoted listing so i got 15 pound 55 again they sold super quick and because i sourced them online they got delivered to me i didn't have to go out and spend as much effort sourcing obviously when you're sourcing online you're still spending your time there's still time spent doing that however when you have a family and you can't go out all the time it's just it's a massive part of my business now is sourcing things online we it's probably like a 60 40 split of 60 percent going out 40 percent online um yes you're gonna spend maybe a little bit more money but you've got to then think, well, how much time have I saved? Like, I've been able to do this from home, from my sofa, whilst watching TV. Um, I can do it at night time, when my kids are in bed. So, you know, you've got to kind of weigh up what's more important to you. Your time, your money. To me, is both. <laughs> um, so that's why we do a good mixture. 
not your daughter's jeans these are a staple pickup for me i will pick them up usually if they're a size uk 10 or above make sure you're checking the label because the labels are in us sizes so charity shops will look at the label see that it says like size 8 think that it's a uk 8 and we'll put it in that section however that would be a uk 12 so just make sure you double check that inside label um it sells they sell so well for us obviously in a plus size they're going to sell better um the style lot of steam makes a big difference as well um but yeah nine times out of ten i'll pick these up we paid five pound for these they sell for 20 probably could have got a bit more to be honest but i was obviously needing the sale that day <laughs> um the fees were three pound and 88 pence leaving us with 11 pounds and 58 pence profit and they were not promoted i've had these trousers forever these are musto men's trousers they're in like a beige cream color um musto for me i don't think it sells as well as it used to i will still pick it up if it's priced okay i think it's a sailing brand it just doesn't seem to go like it used to but anyway we had them for a long time they eventually sold for 16 pounds and 14 pence so a rough guess that is because i sent out an offer to a watcher and the cost of goods was three pounds the fees was three pound thirty pence leaving us with ten pound thirty so i've still hit that ten pound profit that i want and it sold without promotions like quite a lot of items in this video mm. not sponsored did spend eight years of my life working there but not sponsored next up is a super dry t-shirt again not an item that i'd usually pick up however i think it came in like a small wholesale deal that i was doing it was brand new with tags and it sold for 20 pounds so you know not the end of the world and um, it cost of goods for this haul was around five pounds approximately per item again give or take a little bit and it the fees sorry were three pounds 88 not promoted yet again and it got us 11 pounds 58 profit so happy days happy days these trousers are amazing i've had them forever though these are vintage monsoon they are silk trousers in the most gorgeous teal green color ever um i think they probably took so long to sell because well i priced them quite high to be honest i priced them at 30 pounds they sold for 27 pound but they're also a small size um the cost of goods for these was three pound the fees were four pounds and 91 pence they were not promoted so in the end i got 19 pound 55 um i had to wait a while for that but that is, this a is nice another pair of trainers profit. that chris picked up um on vintage these nikes he picked them up for 10 pound 54 which you know i wouldn't personally spend that but it's good to have that influence on the business now because i would have left them however it did make us profit so maybe it's good to have two brains you know they sold for £25. They were promoted. The fees were £5.86, pence, leaving us with £9.05 pence profit. Not quite at that £10, but again, Chris was researching. He was learning. He's learned something from it. Um, and they, they were a very quick, very quick turnover, very quick flip. So, yes, we paid more for the item than we profited from it. Um, but still to make nine pounds on one item that's that's okay i'm i'm comfortable enough with that this was another palette item would you believe it levi's again 501s brand new with tags 501s is obviously a staple um the 501s the 511s they're really popular these sold after i took off i think it was a 10 percent coupon and maybe an offer of some kind they sold for 34 pounds and 20 pence Pro, uh, the cost of goods again about four pounds the fees because they were promoted was seven pound 62 so that left us with 23 pound and four pence so from that 34 pounds 23 pound four pence next up is this really cute little striped jigsaw cardigan i'm really picky with jigsaw now um again it's like hobs i'm picky with hobs as well it sells but it has to be there has to be something about it you know there has to be something about it um this sold for 18 pound we paid three pounds for it the fees were five sorry three pound 58 
leaving us with £11.88 profit and it was not promoted. So reaching that £10 profit. So I think most of the items in this video have pretty much either reached that £10 profit or got close to it. So that's how I'm trying to focus my business now is reaching that goal. Ted Baker is something that we don't pick up very much anymore at all. Uh, but this was a jumper. It was £4. I decided to give it a go um, because some Ted Baker will still sell. And this did. This sold actually super, super quickly for £19.99. The fees for selling it were £3.88. pence. It was not promoted, which gave us £12.57. And it sold really quickly. So I think don't just completely write off Ted Baker. I will pick up certain stuff. And if it's cheap enough, then there is still a lot of people that follow it. It's got, it's got a lot of followers, Ted Baker has. So I wouldn't pick up men's shirts though. No more. No more men's shirts because they just don't sell for us. And the final item was this Ralph Lauren coat. It was like a quilted padded coat. It actually went off to the USA. It sold for £40. I think I had it listed for 50 but it sat around for a little while. We only paid £5 for it, so to get 40 I was very happy with that. And obviously, the postage to the US is going to be quite high, so not that that's my fault, but it is quite high. So I was happy to accept £40 for an international sale. Uh, £6.83 on the fees for it. It was not promoted, so we were left with £28.63 and pence profit. So nice hefty chunk of profit there. And that's it. That's 20 recent sales on eBay for us. Um, obviously, there's nothing super, super exciting there. But hopefully, I've included enough of a mixture for you to see what kind of things we sell. We're not all about juicy sales. You know, you have to have a mixture. And as I've said plenty of times in this video, as long as we hit that £10 profit, then I'm happy. And we have for most of those sales, to be fair. So I am happy. If you enjoyed the video and the format of the video with all the like all the numbers and stuff like that then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really really helps out my channel i'm trying so hard to put a bit more effort into youtube this year and it's just super helpful if you haven't already subscribed please consider it and i will see you in my next video bye everybody